All right, so the next day, I'm gonna continue the body bondo work on this thing. Um, there's only a few other spots that I gotta hit with bondo, including the rear fenders. And I also still gotta work this out. It's a little huge gap right there, but I have an idea for that. Uh, which doesn't require us taking off all of the fender piece because that's a chore. So that, the other side, and really just here. So what I'm gonna be doing is masking this off with tape. Uh, so that it's kind of protected and so that we don't have to worry about the Bondo going over the rest of the kit and the E36. I have a process in my mind and I'm pretty sure it's gonna work out. So let's just go at it. This is gonna be finished today, promise. Hi Doki. Gohan today and he's chilling with Shumai. Hopefully uh, they're out of the car's ways but these guys just love hanging outside so they're just chilling. Okay, let's do this. This is my technique. I'm using tin foil, just putting it behind there. We're not using the tin foil for a frame this time, I'm just using it to protect the body uh, because this is where we're gonna be putting the bondo. And again, we're gonna try to make it as flush with this as possible, but we don't want it to connect to this. So my plan is to put some tape up here, or at least just uh, on this fender flare so it's kind of protected. Then we have free range on this area. You're welcome. The guy was super nice what? and gave it to us for free. Why? I don't know. He, he just said, oh, you always come here. And so oh, what? Us. And I didn't bring pups, so he's a little sad. But uh, anyway. Yo, thanks, man. Bubble waffle and winter melon tea. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll grab you. Thanks, Sonny. All right. We put on the first layer. You guys, like I said, trust the process. Looks ugly right now. But, uh, I mean, in my eyes, it's already so much better. <laughs> and then also did the same on this side with a little thicker layer. So it's actually closer than it is on the other side. But as you can see, still missing just a tiny bit. So our goal is to make this flush. All right, about time we put on our second layer. Uh, and also I've kind of made a frame for the front fenders. As you can see, using foam core. That way we don't get any excess Bondo inside the doors and stuff. Our goal is, as you can see, the hood sits a little bit higher than the fenders. So I'm just gonna put down a thick layer of Bondo to match. And then I've also put the foam core frame on this side. And yeah, we'll do our best to extend this. The rears is pretty dry for a second layer as well. Getting there. I'm just really curious to see how this turns out. In retrospect, I'm actually pretty decent with using Bono because I've used it all throughout my college career in art school. Like if you guys know what Pepecura is, um, you'll know what I'm talking about, but uh, people who make cosplays use Bondo a lot. Like Halo armors and stuff like that, right? You want the rigidity. Oh, and as you can see, in the sunlight, the fitment is so much better than what it was before. From the rear fender to the side skirt. Like we extended this two inches and this one inch and now it is decently flush. How's this side? <laughs> it's actually pretty good. I may shave down the bottom a little bit or put a little more Bondo right there. Who knows? But yeah, that is on today's to-do list anyways. Just Bondo finesse work for the E36. Let's get it. Definitely better to do this when it's still a little bit like clay. Cause right now it's way too hard, but I mean, you can still kind of shave it down. I'm trying to get rid of all of these sharp points. Sean's come to grab the XB keys. Where's, where's the keys? Oh, where's the keys? here, one where's sec, one sec. These guys are gonna start the rap on this guy. I'm excited, I'm excited. All right, give me one sec, homie. Wow, this is Here you go, my man. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Scion keys. Key to drive, because uh, one side is different wheels, so you can see it's lower. 
but uh, it's just to there, so. <laughs> Finally. I already showed you guys what the color scheme is gonna be on the XB, so uh, no surprise. But I am gonna be doing something about that wheel fitment. You're just thicker tire profile. Of course this thing is dead. It's been a while. Ching ching. Ching ching. Hey, power. Finally, Zach, finally. Thanks, another green car. There's mine now. Uh, sure, bubble wrap. You want that? We're not doing door jobs, right? Uh, yeah, you don't have to go through the effort. That's cool. Um, door handles, pretty standard. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll we'll make those black on top of green. Oh. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah. Of course. You're the men. You. Yeah. You're the men. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, Normally we bond it, it and sand it. But that's where the side skirt goes. It should be fine. Right here. Exactly. I mean, like, I have the bondo out right now. I can do it. Okay. Literally five like minutes. It. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll just do this right now. All right. Sanding time. Just using a box, and uh, I think this is a 60 grit, and then we're going to go finer. Sunny is helping out. Thanks, homie. That's just mud in. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Always with the dirty jokes. First thing that comes out of your mouth. Demonetize. <laughs> All right. Here's a little look at the layer. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> it's, it's like we uh, molded our hood. <laughs> and uh, this side still needs a little more, but uh, we're getting somewhere. We're going to make this the most flush kit <laughs> for what it is. Also, check out who stopped by the shop. Mr. Renes. When's the last time you guys saw this? Plus, it was black. So he recently just got it respray painted the exact white, and now super clean. Woo! And then, <laughs> believe it or not, this is actually Jerry's new ride. Freaking baller kid. Damn. Definitely one of the cleanest bear sets he has on this planet. Damn, give him a follow. Oh, shit. Yo, <laughs> I, me too, yeah. but I'm selective. Like me and yeah. Shane go ham yeah. at yeah. home. And then I have to be PG. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See, I have no filter when it comes to like saying gay shit, so I don't mind you. <laughs> we need more gay shit. <laughs> like, because of Eliminate, they, they yeah. turned half of their subscribers like. I was in the Kelly scene, like all my friends were like saying gay, like whenever I used to say gay shit, they used to be like, yo man, that's weird, stop it, right? Yeah. But ever since Eliminate, they all started saying it. I'm like, you know what, you fucking hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> It's dried enough. Ooh, this lighting is so perfect. Golden hour. Here, I may add a little more Bondo, but uh, as you can see, way better than before. You can kind of picture it when uh, it's all painted. I just opened my trunk and look how close this hits. If you run this PTG spoiler with this roof spoiler, it works. All right, um, out of batteries, so you gotta boost this thing. Okay, that's enough bond on my eyes. It's as smooth as I can get it. But if you look, there's still like a bunch of gaps and little craters. That's what the spot filler is for. But also, um, yeah, it was just a really quick bondo job. So I'm gonna clean it up. There'll definitely be a lot more noticeable. And then, um, yeah, we'll probably do one more layer of bondo and then the spot filler. All right, let's see if this actually lifts up because it's basically a, like I molded my hood. Moment of truth. It's stuck. Oh wait, oops. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Look how straight. 
I guess tomorrow is just really sand this down and uh, a little more finesse work, but that's not bad, dude. Hmm. And then uh, on the back here, we got the foam core, so we'll just rip that off like that, and uh, we'll still have that little gap. Actually, I'll do that now just to show you guys. But it should be more flush than before. We got everyone chowing down on some good old Jollibees. First timers? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. It it's his first For time. For sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is your, uh, what's the verdict? Really good. <laughs> first timer. First time. The spicy chicken's where it's at, man. Yep, I agree. <laughs> the one in Seattle's not as good. Yeah? Oh, the one in Seattle, yeah. I think they all taste the same. The spicy one, like in here? One last little meetup before Derpy has to go back home. Starting his 10 hour trek today. Take it eight hours. For you. No, I don't want to take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is, guys. OG. OG. They're all villains. Killmonger. It's not my name, princess. What's the Gundam again? Sinanju. Sinanju. And Spada 4. Oh, you're uh, <laughs> We're going to be visiting him in Vancouver in a couple of weeks. Vancouver vlog. Yes. Okay. Visit the shop. Okay, brother. Oh, yeah, that's right. Their yeah. new shop. Right. Deal. Peace. Yeah, thanks for everything, Derp. This kid's out of <laughs> Safe travels, Derps. Mm -hmm. You say goodbye. We're back continuing the body work on the E36. And these guys finished up last night. They were here till like 4 a.m. in the morning, uh, finishing the wrap job on Sunny's newly wide bodied DRZ. Freaking insane, dude. I'm gonna bring the E36 out here so we can continue the bondo work and uh, lots of sanding. And then once it's completely smooth and we've filled in all of the pinholes with spot putty, then we can paint it black and then it'll look so much better. As you can see, it kinda put on some more bondo just so we have a little more body shape, you know? I'm trying to make this replica of a replica of a race kit as flush as possible. See, see, so much better. All right, let's continue. So on the trunk, all over the body, there's a lot of rust, so just trying to get rid of as much of it as we can. <laughs> what am I? Two fingers on <laughs> <laughs> You always gonna say that! This side's pretty smoothed out. Mm. I just gotta sand this side down. Separating the rear fender from the rear bumper, this is what we got. Like you can actually see how much layer of Bondo we added. Same on this side. Except on this side, we actually added a lot more. Just a little more finesse work on the fronts. I'm um, just gonna keep adding more spot filler in all of these little indents. We're just gonna sand this down. That'll give us the little bit of a gap between the hood and the fender. At least they're the same height now. Just do our best to sand down all of the Bondo so the imperfections don't show under the wrap. Day five of working on the body of the E36. Final day. All right, I think we've done a decent job on the spot putty. We can move on to grinding this down and giving us that hood gap. So the main idea, really, um, is super basic. We're just gonna take the grinder and grind this down, the excess uh, Bondo that's on the inner part of the fender. We basically just have to line it up with this part of the fender and we're golden. Should be fairly straightforward.
good enough. I think I shaved off a little bit too much. Like the front is perfect. This side is even better. That was the goal. Look at that amazing fitment. Mmm, beautiful. Both sides are all good now. Painted black, flush as F. Beautiful. I'm just gonna finesse the side skirts, make sure this side is flush. Sign the front fenders one more time, and then finally spray paint it black. And then give this guy a little bit of attention. Pound it. He don't know. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. This side is flush. And same with this side. With a little bit of force, I pushed it in, kind of broke it, but now this side's flush too. So, just gotta work on pushing the front fender piece a little bit forward, and then this should line up. Guys, we're so close. Just a little bit more finesse work. You get some attention. <laughs> to help with yes. the final touches. I'm so busy right now, bro. No, you ain't. Yeah, bro. You came I'm here so... to give me some underglows. No, it ain't. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna take one for sure, but I don't know which car I'm gonna put it in. Underglow uh, for the FRS well, first or the first Supra? Uh, YouTuber problems, eh? <laughs> which car am I gonna put it in? Or this, this is so neat for speed. Look, the matte black turned out. It actually looks so much cleaner already and I haven't even put the hood down. But, you guys get a good idea. Mmm. Bolts, and we should be golden. Relax. Mr. Pumpkin Man, the pumpkin eater. Oh, uh, calories. Dude, I have lost about five pounds in the past five days working on the C36 because I haven't been eating. It's just a uh, flow, you know? Uh, or I'd rather get like really fast, fast food. But uh, even so, that's pretty bad. Boom. DIY, look at that fitment though. I'm proud of myself. She's 
looking so good. I think I actually used the semi-luster spray paint on this because it has a sheen to it. Oops, it was supposed to end up looking like this, matte, which is so much better. I've impressed myself. This corner part basically didn't even exist. This is looking pretty consistent all the way down, as well as this side. I'd say we did pretty damn good. And then here's this corner. Before I end the video, a little selfless self promotion. Gonna make super fun. Just wanna let you guys know that we've restocked on all of our mouth masks and all of the Demon Slayer keychains, key tags, whatever you wanna call it. We're also gonna be having a new drop coming mid-November and a small update on the Vertex steering wheels for all of you guys who did purchase one and are still waiting. Vertex told me that it has been shipped from Japan to US but by sea and that usually takes up to 45 days so wait is almost over hopefully soon. <laughs> just gonna end the video being a long five days just working on the body kit of this but what's next is this is gonna be a whole different color in the next couple of weeks here and also we're gonna be working more on the interior side of things but that'll come down the line. So I'm just gonna go home end this video and as usual guys Guys, I appreciate you for watching and if you want to get updated on when new videos come out on this channel hit that sub button when notification button ticked drop a like leave some good vibes in the comments and we'll catch you guys on the next vlog peace it's always the same thing I say ending every video maybe I need like an ending catchphrase like TJ hunt keep moving upward <laughs> Nah. well the slogan for Kings Must Rise more so my mantra at the same time is cherish your ambitions but uh, I just find it cheesy if I say that at the end of every video so Cherish your ambitions. <laughs> Peace. I never pray to God anymore.